start with you. How hard is it to play hard and not foul? Great question. Um, yeah, there's always a balance. There's always a trying to be aggressive and then trying to, you know, make sure you don't don't get no uh, no contact that the um, that can get a call. Uh, I uh, yeah, I've been pretty good with it, I think for for a long a longer time. And then today, yeah, got a couple of stupid ones, um, one or two, and then when you get like a uh, unlucky call or an actual foul, you know, it adds up and uh, it takes away from your minutes and from the team. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated with that for sure. Uh, Could have done a lot better. Jesse, I don't, you can't, I don't want you to say anything like bad about the refs that would get you in trouble. <laughs> but out of the five, I mean, how many did you agree agree with? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's, like I said, like it's a, Sometimes you, you there's there's a couple you don't you know agree with. I haven't looked it, I haven't looked it back, so that that can change things for sure. And when you're on the court, it's it's, it's frustrating. Um, so, but I mean, at the end of the day, there there's going to be times where it's like that, um, and it's nobody's fault really. So, you get a couple early ones too. Do you just knowing the lineup and the depth you guys have? Do you guys have to play different? I mean, is it conscious when you start a game? Um, of course, we got to be cautious, but. Yeah, it hurts having a little death on the roster right now. Picking up those fouls, it hurt us a little bit. Me and Jesse getting in foul trouble. So, yeah, that must definitely hurt. Obviously, they were able to crush the offensive boards. Both teams did well on the offensive glass. When you're on defense, though, you're trying to shove out or you want to you know, shove out, box guys out, put them away. That same thing coming into play, keeping you from doing that a little bit? The, you're talking about oh the foul trouble? Yeah, about, yeah and, uh, and trying to box out defensively. Yeah, yeah, because exactly. When they make it a physical game, they try to try to force you into that. Uh, so, yeah, when they, when they see, of course, like I think me and uh, Soriano both had three at some point, I felt they made, they made a lot more physical game at that point, try to get a uh, box out or, or get offensive rebounds over you because they know. It is a little bit tougher. Uh, I mean, of course, it's when you get a good position, it doesn't matter whether you're, whether uh, they're going hard or not because you got them when you're, like uh, you you got them boxed out. But um, it, it's harder. Everything is a little bit harder. So uh, teams can try to make, take advantage of that when uh, when one or two players are in foul trouble. But uh, if you play it smart, you can always get out of it. But it didn't work out. Yeah. Other than that, some of you, you guys hadn't really seen a team that was going to pressure you like, like these guys did, I guess. Uh, uh, what, what was, even with them pressuring, you know, you guys, you guys shot 43, 43 free throws, which says you probably handled it pretty good. Uh, right, yeah. I mean, there's, uh, I think one team, SMU, did a, did a lot of press pressing during the game we had against them. Uh, and I don't know if they took from that or if they do this, uh, like to do this uh, every every single game. But uh, it's definitely uh, they try to speed it up a lot. Uh, what we knew is that when they do press full court, it's not really a, 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 a press to get the steal. It's more of a press to get you over half court with maybe like 15 seconds on the clock when you set up your plays, which is. Um, what this press was more like, but at the end of the day, it's tough for for uh, you know for the guards to get it over when they do it right. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was something that we knew they were going to do, um, but it's, it's still tough for the guards. And like you said, us getting to the line 43 times and only making 31 free throws. That's a lot of part of the game too. If we hit majority of those free throws, we win the game. So we just got to lock in and make our free throws. Do they come? <coughs> Is it tougher to shoot them when you're tired at the end of the game? I feel like we work hard enough to where we should make a free throws regardless. We just got to lock in. Josiah, um, the final, I don't know, three, four minutes, um, loose balls, uh, offensive rebounds, uh, seemed like all that stuff was kind of going to St. John's. How much of that was, you know, maybe talked about after, after the game and, and how much of it, you know, was, uh, you know, maybe the difference in, in the game, some of those plays? We got to come away with those loose balls, and it just got to mean something to us. We have to take it more personal, and we're going to use it as fuel to the fire for these next couple of games, or for the rest of the season, actually. But we just got to have a have a more of a dog mentality when it comes to that. One play where Kobe's trying to 
save it from going out of bounds, and the ball kind of got ping ponged around, and they end up getting a layup. Were, were you on the floor for? I didn't yeah, I was on the floor. So I mean, obviously, that's kind of a big moment. Well, what did you see there? And then, uh, Everything was going by so fast. We thought we had the ball, and then it was just, yeah, it was just it went by fast. So was it in the game plan a little bit to try to attack the rim a little more? We only had 10 threes. Coach Patino said he felt like his team did a good job of running you all off the three-point line. Um, part of the game plan, just the way it fleshed out? Uh, we were just trying to take what the ga defense gave to us. That's what Coach Josh told us, to just play the game, be calm, and just take what they give us. And today I was just getting to the basket more. One more question. You did hit some shots. So you've had some trouble uh, with consistency this, you know, last few games. Do you feel like your shots coming? Yeah, I'm not losing any confidence. I know I put my work in in the gym. These coaches are constantly pushing me, and they're great with motivating me and keeping confidence in me. So I know it's gonna come along, and that water's gonna rise. Yeah, just at that point. I mean, when you see him shoot in games and practice, you know this this man can shoot. So it's, it's just a, it's just a matter of uh, shots are gonna fall, shoot or shoot. Uh, I'm not worried about it, and I don't think he is. He's just going to, you know, keep shooting.